Good evening everyone, Phil here, and welcome to the Daily Wrap for Wednesday, the 26th of January 2022. Uh, great streaming day today, full stream of Skyrim Anniversary Edition on the first stream where we went into Winterhold, and uh, wow, did some great questing, actually unlocked some really powerful stuff for my build. I'm now a, a, like a Dramora Lord, I'm summoning who's crazy badass, um, getting some good equipment, Good stuff all around, and I'm really enjoying the quest lines in Winterhold as well. <clears throat> also fought my first Dragon Priest. Other playthrough went really well. Uh, the night stream was the conclusion of Resident Evil 4. We finished separate ways, which was fun. Tried out Operation Ada. Nah, not very good. Honestly, Operation Ada is just a grind. It really feels like they throw it through that in there to pad the game a little bit more and say there was more gameplay, but it's not Operation Ada, by the way. It's Assignment Ada, yeah. Uh, really bad, just grindy shit. Too many enemies, annoying. And I played it for like 15 minutes and said, fuck this, I gave up and stopped playing because I just didn't like it. Um, but it was great. I'm glad to finish Resident Evil 4. It was really good to play it the second time. I actually really appreciate the game a lot more the second time around than I did the first time. And uh, it's my top three Resident Evil games now. Uh, on the pre-stream podcast today, we actually went through the rundown of all the games coming out this year that have release dates, including everything coming up in February, everything coming up in March, and the order that I'm going to be playing them, even specifically if I've picked what consoles I'll be playing the games on. So if you're interested in that, check out the pre-stream podcast for today, all right? Now, really important, right now there's a... Oh my God, I almost burped. Right now there's a poll going on on the main channel page of DSP Gaming right here where you guys can vote on what game you want to see me play tomorrow's mainstream. Do you want to see more Skyrim Anniversary Edition? Or do you want me to go back to the Forgotten City and try to finish it up? I'm okay with either, but people are voting right now, and apparently it looks like Skyrim is slightly in the lead by about 15% of the vote. But a lot of people vote on these things on the community page, so please keep voting. If you have not, head over there. Let your vote, vote be known, and tomorrow's mainstream will be dependent directly on what you vote, okay? Tomorrow night will be Halo Infinite Multiplayer, my first session for the week. Continuing on with the special Cyber sh uh, Showdown event where I'm trying to unlock the free uh, cosmetics. There's three more to go, and I'm really close to unlocking the next one, so maybe I'll get them all tomorrow. If not, I'll probably do one more session over the weekend where we hopefully will complete the event. Um... And then on uh, Friday, Pokemon, man. Pokemon Legends Arceus, the first major release of 2022. We'll be checking that out together both on Friday and Saturday, which is really cool. Now, FYI, whatever game loses this overnight poll will be played on Sunday. So don't worry if you're dying to see either Skyrim or the Forgotten City and you're like, oh, I lost the poll. This sucks. Now I'm never going to see it. No, it's coming up on Sunday. I mean, you have to wait a few extra days, but that's, that's the way it works, right? So please vote. Thank you guys for a great streaming day today. Overall, it was a good one. And I hope to see you all in the morning. Peace out, guys. Awesome.